Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Rachel and today I am starting a brand new project pan. So before we get into it, I guess you're probably wondering why I am dressed like Harley Quinn. Well, not dressed like her, just have my makeup like her. And there isn't a real specific reason for it. I did go to see Birds of Prey the other night with my other half and it kind of inspired me to do my makeup a bit more out there and then I just thought, I'll just do it like Harley Quinn, why not? And I am actually really enjoying this. It's got me out of my comfort zone and I'm really enjoying just being a bit more out there and more colourful and, and I don't know, I just feel a bit more fun. Anyway, so today is a project pan and it is going to be a themed project pan which I'm super excited about. I really, really love TV shows. I have done a friends project pan in the past with Jocelyn Claire and today I'm going to do a Stranger Things one. Now you guys know I'm already doing a pan that palette series with it does have a palette and it has an accompaniment palette. I am also doing a new decade project pan which was created by uh, Rebecca over at Panning and Stuff and I'm also doing Pan 20 in 2020. So as a result I'm only introducing five products into today's project pan which is themed and it is doo -doo -doo -doo, Stranger Things. I will preface this video by saying that if you have not watched Stranger Things I'm not going to try and give spoilers but there might be a couple of spoilers as I'm trying to explain how I chose the products. So if you've not seen it and you want to see it, be mindful of that. I love this TV show so so much. Me and my other half have really gotten into it, we really love it and I could just watch it over and over again if I'm honest. So today I am going to take some prompts from the show and the first one is the character Barb and the prompt that I am using for Barb is a product that was gone too soon. Uh, so the first product or first prompt that I have got for this project pan is Barb. Barb is a character within the show and she disappears very early on in the first series and she actually ends up not coming back. That is a spoiler but I'm not going to go there. So the prompt that I've taken for this product is a product that was gone too soon. Now you could use that for a limited edition product or you could use that for a product that you just feel you've used up far too quickly and I'm going to go with the latter because I have not got a lot of this product left and it saddens me. And I'm going to insert a picture of how this product looks when I repress it because it needs repressing and this is the cover effects bronzer in Sunkist and you can see I've got such a little amount left that it actually has just crumbled. I will repress it and I will put an overlay of how it looks when it's repressed so that you guys can see how much is left of the product because this doesn't really give you much of an idea. So I'm going to aim to use this up completely and then say goodbye to it. I believe I heard that this was discontinued and somebody else has um, told me that it hasn't. I hope that that's the case because I would love to repurchase this in the future. I just absolutely love it. There's only a bit left and I just want it out of my collection because I've got so many bronzers and it's just one of those that I really, really love. So the second prompt that I've got is another character from the show and this one is Steve Harrington. And for this one, I have got the prompt, a product that unexpectedly has your back. And <laughs> this is because I have loved the development of the Steve Harrington character at the very beginning of the first series. He starts off as a character that you don't really like. He doesn't have particularly much to offer. He is a bit selfish. He is a bit inconsiderate and you know, at the beginning of the series he wasn't a very likeable character but he did grow and he did evolve over time and I've really loved the development of his character and his story arc. I've really enjoyed the changes that he's undergone and he has become one of my favourite characters as a result. So the product that I've chosen for Steve Harrington is the Wet n Wild Brulee Eyeshadow and this is an unexpected product that I love and I'll tell you why. It's just basically a very basic cream eyeshadow, but 
this sucker has your back if you have over blended your eyeshadow and you've put it, done it up too high this will blend it back down for you. This is like a universal eyeshadow get out of jail free card in my opinion. Today as I was doing the blue eye I blended it up far far too high and it looked a little bit patchy, it looked a little bit it just didn't look cute. So I used this to help bring it back into check, rein it in and it looks so much better as a result. This is a product that has your back, it's got you covered if you go a little bit awry with your makeup and it's just, it's something that you can rely on. I really, really enjoy it. So I am going to aim to hit pan on this first and foremost, but who knows, I may be able to use it all up within the time of the project pan. So here's hoping, we'll see how far I get, but I would like to at least hit pan and potentially use it up completely. The next prompt is another character and it is Eleven. The prompt that I've used for Eleven is a product that is special and precious and has an unrivaled ability to make you look good. Now, Eleven doesn't have an unri unrivaled ability to make people look good. She is just overall a very special character with an unrivaled ability. She has special powers and she is just overall extraordinary. So this is an extraordinary product that always looks good and it's in my Sweet Peach palette and it is the eyeshadow Luscious and this is one of my favorite eyeshadows ever and I just love it with pretty much any look it just I can always rely on this to look beautiful and it's got a lovely lovely um, formula I just always think it looks nice with most colors and it's just so easy to use and it does have a special place for me it is a special um, eyeshadow it is an extraordinary eyeshadow to me and that's why I'm putting it as 11. The next prompt is friends don't lie and this is a quote that is said by all of the younger friends within the series it's kind of their party motto there are the four boys Lucas, Dustin, Will and Mike they call themselves a party and their motto is friends don't lie and they later introduced that to Eleven as well. So the prompt that I have taken for Friends Don't Lie is a product that delivers exactly what you expect every time, a product that doesn't lie. And for this one, I don't know if this is gonna be boring for you guys, it is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This has been a product in a project pan previously, not this exact one, but an Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This particular one has never been in a project pan. And as you can see, I'm nearly halfway through it, and don't you think that that is really, really, really satisfying, that, you know, it's kind of like a pizza slice, and I'm trying to even it out and make it straight. It's just, um, I'm not sure I'm really succeeding, but I'm getting there. I am going to try and use this up as much as I can before the end of the project. I don't think I would be able to use it up completely, but I may be able to use another half, potentially. That's why I'd like to do anyway. And this is the only product that I use in my eyebrows, so if I can't do it, it's not doable, basically. But I will use it religiously every single time I do my makeup. It is my OG. It is my best friend when it comes to my eyebrows. And I do fairly comfortably say this product does not lie. It does everything I want it to and it delivers every single time. I just, I love it. The final prompt that I am taking for this project pan is... The Upside Down and The Upside Down is a parallel universe within the series and they the kids call it The Upside Down because it's basically the same place but you're just completely somewhere else so kind of like a parallel universe and the prompt that I have taken for this is a product that turned your routine on its head and this is a little bit of a curveball I don't think people are going to expect me to have included this and I'm going to be using Sesh Vite Top Coat this is the top coat that you use over a wet 
nail polish and it kind of binds all of the layers of your nail colour and your base coat all together into one layer. It kind of makes your nails a little bit like having gel nails but it's not a gel top coat, you don't need to use a UV or LED light and I remember discovering this when I was about 19 and I could not believe how good it was. It just, it made my nail colour last so much longer. It actually looks like gel nails to me because of the unrivaled shine. It just, it has a wet look shine to me and it feels that cushiony feel like how shellac feels. And so far I have, it's up to here. I have marked it, I don't know if you can kind of see. And I would say I probably used about a quarter of it and I'm aiming to use up as much as I can. I really do need to make more of an effort with my nails, if I'm honest. I've hardly ever got my fingernails painted. I tend to do my toenails. I don't know what it is, but I think I need to make more of an effort. I do enjoy having my nails done when they are done. They always look really, really pretty, so I need to make more of an effort. And, and this is just my favorite top coat, so it really, really changed the way I looked at doing my own nails and it just changed my routine for the better. So that is everything that is going to be in this Stranger Things project pan. If you want to join in and do these prompts with me, I would encourage you to do so. I would love for other people to get involved if they want to. I'm going to run this project pan for, I think, six months, doing monthly updates every month and we'll see how much of these products we can use up. This is going to be so fun, it's one of my favourite TV shows that there is and I hope that you enjoy this project pan as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!